Florida State Museum Cracker Homestead. The Witten House constructed in 1864. Forest Capital Museum Taylor County Perry, Florida. Slideshow created by Hugh Rountree. Cracker Homestead Tour. There is an old Florida, call it Cracker Florida, if you will, where distinctive way of life and attitudes persist, where houses and barns seem little changed, but this Florida exists only in pockets, and seems harder to find with each passing year. By Clark I. Cross. You are visiting a Cracker homestead, which was common in Florida, from the mid-1800s to the first decades of the 20th century. The Widden House constructed in 1864, was moved to the site, in 1972, to provide you with the opportunity to experience life in rural Florida, around the turn of the century. The term cracker refers to the settlers, who lived in the rural areas. They may have acquired this name from the early Floridians, who cracked their whips, to drive their cattle and oxen. The first fence you see is a split trail made from longleaf yellow pine, used to keep out cattle, and wild hogs. The picket fence defines the yard of the house. Its gate has a homemade latch and a piece of limestone on a chain as a weight to keep the gate closed. The rails, pickets, and logs are made from cypress and yellow pine. The yard has no grass and is swept clean to help avoid fires, which were common in the pine woods. Front View East Side View House The house reflects a distinctive architectural style in Florida. The breezeway, or dog trot, actually separates two single-room cabins and provides the family with extra living and working areas sheltered from the hot sun. Wet shape piers keep the house off the damp ground. Dog trot. West side of front porch. East side of front porch. The room to the right is used by Granny and a number of the children. As more children are born, a room is added on each side of the back porch, one for the boys and one for the girls. Granny's large oak bed has a mosquito net because there are no screens on the windows or doors. She often sits near the fire and churns butter milk while the children bathe in the tub. An old treadle sewing machine is also in the room. There the ladies sew and make most of the clothes like the ones on the bed. West Room, View 1 West Room, View 2 West Room, View 3 The room to the left is a parlor, bedroom, where mother, father, and the newest baby sleep. The cradle is unique in that it can be folded and put into the wagon when the family goes visiting. This room holds a prized possession, a pump organ, which provides many happy hours for the family and friends. You can also see mother's wedding present, a mahogany wardrobe with beveled mirrors where the fine clothes are stored. This large oak bed shows how the mosquito net is used. All the beds have handmade quilts that are made on the quilting frame in the breezeway. A favorite pattern is the double wedding ring design on the bed. East Room, View 1 East Room, View 2 
East Room, View 3. East Room, View 4. As you walk to the back porch, you see a homemade table and bench built of cypress. There is much work accomplished here, and sometimes the children eat here. To the right is the shaving horse, which is used to rive shingles, or shakes, which you can see on the roof. The cane rockers on the front and back porch are enjoyed by the family and their friends, like you. Back porch. The kitchen is made of round, double-notched pine logs and separated from the house because of the chance of fire from cooking on the open, six-foot fireplace. The three fireplaces in the home are made from sticks and clay. Cooking at the kitchen's fireplace affords many hot days of drudgery for the women of the house. The corner cupboard is used for the family's wedgewood china and medicine. Herbs the family has gathered hang ready to be used in one of the three-legged cast iron pots or spiders sitting on the hearth. Kitchen, View 2. Kitchen, View 3. The oak dining table is set for the next family meal. The baby's high chair is ready, too. Many handmade shelves are built for work tables. There is a small hanging bread and pie safe, and a larger food safe used to store all the family's food. Two unique items are the corn sheller and sausage stuffer to the right, which are used outside on the back porch. Kitchen table. East side view, kitchen and porch. West side view, kitchen and porch. Yard. As you leave the kitchen, you will see the well, tubs, and iron pots where the washing is done. The well sweep makes it easy to put water into the tubs. The clothes are boiled in the iron pots, beaten on the workbench, with a beating board, and then rinse and wrung out on one of the few luxuries of this homestead, a hand-operated wringer. The grape harbor has Florida scuppernongs, which are used for jelly, preserves, wine, and just plain eaten. The dinner bell is used to call the family to dinner, and in case of an emergency, the one holer outhouse has its usual corn cobs and, on occasion, an old catalog. The pantry house is located to the right. It is used to store all the canned and preserved goods, potatoes, and onions. As you leave the fenced yard, you will see a fig tree, wild plum, and a pomegranate to the left. East side yard, and well. East Side Yard and Grape Harbor. Back Center Yard and Outhouse. West Side Yard and Storage Pantry. Outbuildings, behind backyard. The chicken pen is used to keep the chicken safe from wild animals. It has an egg house for the hens. Behind the chicken house is a garden, where the family cultivates both a summer and winter garden. There is nearly always something growing here for the family table. 
the barn holds a feed, saddles, and farm tools. It also houses a buggy on one side and a farm wagon on the other. The corn crib is used to store the animals' feed and is a shelter for many of the farm plows. As you walk back toward the house, you see the cane grinder which is used to grind sugar cane. The cane juice is cooked in the large iron kettle to make syrup. Each year after the first frost, this area is a busy place of work and social life on the farm. To the right, you see the small smokehouse used to smoke the family's pork after the pigs are killed each winter. Chicken Run and Coop Barn and Shed Barn and Animal Lot Corn Crib and Storage Shed Side View of Corn Crib Back View of Corn Crib and Shed Cane, Grinder Syrup Kettle and Shelter Smoke House Cracker Homestead Postcard, thanks to Mark Sutherland and his Taylor County Postcard Collection. The handmade frame with gourds is home for Purple Martins returning each spring. The Martins are encouraged to live on the farm because they are great insect eaters. We hope you have enjoyed this trip back in time to a typical Florida Cracker Homestead. For further information, please write or phone Forest Capital State Museum, 204 Forest Park Drive, Perry, Florida, 32348. Telephone 850-584-3227.